Thank you. Uh, I was asked to give a title to my talk and I said untypical types because of how they came about or how they're used or something about them that's a little bit unusual. This is the first one and what gobsmacked me about this exhibition was the lettering in Mantegna's uh, paintings and engravings. Thank God for Rolling Stone. They really got hold of this uh, typeface and made it work really hard. By the way, uh, it's said that musicians like to get their face on the cover of Rolling Stone. Well, so do type designers like to get their face on the cover of Stone. I'm, I'm sure that... I'm sure Fiona Apple was thrilled. So was I. <laughs> type designers are at the rock bottom of the food chain. We are preyed upon by typographers, by graphic designers, by art directors, by web designers. We are hostages to the people who use our work. Uh, and most of my work, when I do it, I mean, it goes out in the world. I have no idea. I can't police it. I can't control it. No idea who will use it. We are now in the front hall of a building in Tokyo belonging to the Morisawa uh, company, leading uh, Japanese uh, type company. And they use this hallway for temporary exhibitions. And they asked the walker and me to make an exhibition of of the uh, Walker typeface. Notice, by the way, top left of that slide, you see that W? Because Walker begins with W, I thought I should make them a special W, so I invented this uh, rather uh, unusual uh, W uh, for, the, for their exclusive uh, use. Re remember that for a minute. It's my name at the top in uh, Kana, and then some kanji uh, down below. Uh, I'm kind of bragging here. It's rather nice to have an invitation for your exhibition designed by the late great and very much missed uh, Eco. Thank you very much. Thank you for the good vibe. This is a nice